Hello and welcome to In the Classroom, an educational podcast making teaching and learning more transparent. My name is Benjamin Stewart at BenjaminLStewart.org. Today I want to talk about thesis seminar and I would like to show you specifically how you can go about scheduling your bi-weekly tutoring session schedules and your journal entries. If you scroll down to the section called bi-weekly tutoring session schedule, you'll see a link called Thesis Seminar Roster Spring 2021. If you open up this page, you'll see a list of all of the students. Your name should appear here. Of course, if it does not, make sure that you contact me right away. But each of you will have your own page in Notion where you will have access to a link to the Word document that you're going to be using throughout the semester to write your thesis paper, as well as a calendar called tutoring sessions now if you are not familiar with notion you'll notice that there are three views for this particular calendar the default view is called calendar in parentheses tutoring sessions this will be the uh, this will be the calendar that will appear uh, most of the time when you enter into this page but there are other options as well. You'll notice a calendar all view. This will show both the tutoring sessions and the journal entries. And then you have a third view calendar just for journal entries. And we'll, we'll talk about the difference between the tutoring sessions and the journal entries. So each week you're going to be asked to complete a template. You can access the template by clicking the down arrow next to the new option in the blue button towards the right hand side of your screen you'll see here a template called tutoring session forward slash journal entry let's open that up you'll notice here that the first thing you'll need to do is enter your name where it says untitled and i would uh, recommend that you put both your first and last name since there are many of you with the same first name um, so i would include both in this uh, in this field and then you'll see a date button now I want to jump down where it says type you'll notice here that you'll have two options one that's called journal entry and a second that's called tutoring session so for the course you're going to be asked to complete a bi-weekly journal entry and a bi-weekly tutoring session in alternating weeks. So one week will be a journal entry, this, the next week will be a tutoring session, and so on throughout the semester. So let's say that we are just getting started in the semester. We're going to go ahead and complete a journal entry for this first week of class. This first week we'll be meeting as a whole group. Our tutoring sessions will officially begin the second week of the semester. So, for the journal entries, I'm going to ask everyone to submit those of between Wednesday and Friday of the week that you're submitting. Our course begins January 25th, so January 27th, you'll want to start thinking about your reflection for the week. Any time between the 27th through the 29th, uh, you may submit your journal entry. So let's say that I select the 29th to submit my first journal entry for week one. Now under roster, I'm not going to click here, uh, but you, you'll find a list of all of uh, the students enrolled in the course. So you'll need to find your name and ID and select your name next to roster. It's very important that you complete this field when you're submitting your journal entry. These are basically the three fields that you'll be asked to complete when, when uh, completing this template. Now you'll notice as you scroll down, you'll have some notes how to use this template, which will remain throughout the semester. And then a second section just below the instructions that's called template. This is the template that I'm going to ask that you complete, specifically these four questions. You'll notice that there's a drop-down arrow that allows you space for you to answer each of the four questions. The first question, what have you completed this week? The second question, what challenges did you face this week? 
The third question, what do you plan to complete next week? And the fourth, what challenges do you anticipate next week and how do you plan to overcome them? Again, each question has a drop-down menu allowing space for you to add an answer. Each of these four questions is mandatory each, um, each week when you're completing this template. I'm going to ask that you complete or answer these four questions within 150 to 200 words. Now, this template allows me to see where you are in the process. It's very important that you update these questions and answer these questions as it pertains to the week that you're, that you're in. I'm going to be relying on these to not only help you in your tutoring sessions, but also outside of your tutoring sessions as necessary. You'll notice just bef below the four mandatory questions, additional questions that are optional. Okay, so if you wish to contribute and add more to these additional questions towards the bottom, uh, great, go for it. Go ahead and complete those. Again, the more information you can share in this template, the better that I can assist you throughout the writing and research process. All right, so this is the template that will pop up automatically. And just remember to fill out these three fields. And it saves, if you're not familiar with Notion, again, this saves automatically. So as you're typing, it will save as long as you have a, a stable internet connection. All right, so let's say that we have our date as the 29th. Let's go back to our calendar and scroll down. You'll notice here that this is the entry that we just entered. Okay, if I select here from the calendar view, it will pop up again. You can always go back and make changes if you make a mistake, if you need to delete for any reason, you can right click and delete and submit again. Remember again, the a template is located by, uh, it's under the uh, new button, under the drop down arrow where it says tutoring session journal entry. Now let's say that we have completed week one and we're starting week two and you could actually submit your first tutoring session anytime during week one as well for the second week. Let's say that we're ready to schedule our tutoring session. We're going to again select the same template again and put our first and last name and we'll select this time tutoring session. Now these are going to be tutoring sessions that are going to be conducted in Microsoft Teams. This is where we're going to meet online in real time to discuss your your thesis paper. We're going to schedule tutoring sessions in 30 minute increments. So the time and date field is going to be slightly different for your journal entry. We're going to need both an end date and include time. So make sure that you select these two buttons at the bottom, end date and include time. Let's say that we want to schedule our tutoring session for Monday, the second week of class, February 1st. So I'm going to select up here, February 1st. And let's say we want to schedule our tutoring session at 8 o'clock in the morning. So here we have a start date, February 1st, with a start time of 8 o'clock in the morning. We want an end date. Same day, February 1st. And we want to indicate a time here, 8.30 a.m. And then we can just click out of there. And we see now we've scheduled February 1st from 8 a.m. to 8.30 a.m. Remember, our tutoring sessions are half-hour increments. And uh, we'll have to uh, make sure, again, that we select end date and include time for scheduling our tutoring sessions. We want that precision so that everyone knows when everyone is scheduling so that we can work around each other's schedules when we're uh, submitting our tutoring session uh, template. Again, make sure that you select your name next to roster. I, I won't click on here, but when you click on this field where it says empty, a list of all of your names will appear. You simply select your name. When we go down, you'll notice the template is exactly the same. We have instructions and then below the actual template with the same four questions. I'm going to ask that you, that you answer 
these same four questions for the tutoring session. Essentially, it's a, it's a reflection each week using the same four questions, as well as the additional questions as optional. Again, the more information you can provide, the better. But I'm going to be referring to your reflections on a weekly basis, even though we only have a tutoring session every other week. So the idea here is that we're submitting a tutoring session every other week and a journal entry every other week, but they're alternating weeks. So again, every week there's either a, a journal entry or a tutoring session to submit. If we select outside of the, that pop-up menu and we go to February 1st, we'll see that we have scheduled a time here. And if you select the 30-minute increments, it will list in order, chronologically, those who have scheduled already. So you'll be able to see your classmates as they schedule as well. So this first week, I would suggest doing both around Wednesday or Thursday after you've reflected on your commitments for the semester and you've thought about a time that you can meet throughout the semester, then go ahead and schedule your first meeting. I, I'm going to ask everyone to try to stick to the same schedule throughout the semester. So really spend a lot of time in the first week reflecting again on what commitments you have, your availability, so that we can try to stick to a uh, a fixed schedule for your bi-weekly tutoring sessions. If you want to go ahead and schedule your tutoring sessions for the entire semester, you can right-click and hit Duplicate. And here it, it automatically creates a duplicate. And we can then click and drag in fact, since it's February 1st, we can advance to February. And then we can click and drag and then duplicate. So, and then click and drag to March 1st. We go to March 1st and so on. Just be conscious of the... Um, the holidays for this semester, Holy Week, and uh, remember that the last two weeks of April, starting April 19th through the 30th, there will not be any classes. All right, so basically this is what I wanted to share with you, how to go about scheduling your uh, sessions. We'll talk about it as well the first day of class, but I wanted to provide a video here so that you could review on your own and kind of experiment. If you're not used to Notion, take a look around the first week so that you can uh, see where you can find the course content. And I'll be sharing all of this uh, information as well as the home page, this landing page for Thesis Seminar in Microsoft Teams, where we'll be conducting all of our live sessions, both the tutoring sessions and the whole group discussions. We'll have an online meeting within Microsoft Teams. Also, all of your Word documents will be located in Microsoft Teams under Files. And uh, so we'll be using both Microsoft Teams and Notion primarily uh, throughout the semester. If you do have any questions about how to get around or uh, scheduling your tutoring session or submitting your journal entry, feel free to reach out to me. You can send a chat via Microsoft Teams. And um, that would be, I think, the quickest way to get a response uh, for any questions that you have throughout the semester. This has been In the Classroom, an educational podcast making teaching and learning more transparent. Thanks for listening.